Hey, what's going on? Today, before we get started in the video, I uh, got something in the mail from a subscriber, so I thought I'd read it out to you guys and show you uh, what he sent. It says, SPP guys, I thought you might like these for your fleet of GMC trucks. If your subscribers want more, check out my Instagram or YouTube channel for Mad Scientist Garage. You can see one installed on my Suburban on a Flying Sparks Garage episode also. Love the channel, keep the content coming. John B. at Mad Scientist Garage. So they're like uh, run DMC, except they say run GMC, which are kind of cool. So anyways, if you guys want any Mad Scientist Garage on YouTube or uh, Instagram, he could uh, hook you up with some. All right, so let's get on with the video. All right, so I'm gonna start off today's video, how to do a cheap uh, brake upgrade. Kind of like the upgrade I did on the S10, uh, just with some different parts, but basically this one's obviously done already, but I'll deconstruct it. I'll take the uh, caliper and the rotor off and everything, and I'll show you guys what parts you need to use to do this brake upgrade, which is, on these cars is easier and well, maybe cheaper, maybe the same money-wise to do than the S10 one. Uh, there's no machining involved like the S10 brake upgrade that if you haven't seen it is in a previous video where I put uh, 2000 Camaro like SS or just Camaro big rotors with the big calipers, dual piston calipers and everything. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. I'll get Mike to put a link in the description for that one. And uh, so let's take a look. Okay, so on this GTO and now these brakes will fit uh, any, it'll definitely fit 68 to 72 A bodies like Cutlass, Chevelle, Le Mans, GTO, uh, any of that platform also will fit F bodies, 67 to 69 F body Camaros, and then 68 to 74 Novas, because they all use the same spindle, basically. So like the, that's all the same. This is 1996 Corvette, like C4 brakes. Pretty much a brake setup like this, if you wanted to use C5 Corvette brakes or even maybe C6, like bigger brakes and bigger calipers, you could modify stuff to make it work. So pretty much you have the calipers and of course the corresponding brake hose, so just hang that there. And then, oh, I'm gonna need to get a wrench for this. You need this abutment bracket, the rotor. Let me get a wrench and I'll take this uh, bracket off. Got a spacer behind there to space it out a little bit on the bottom it looks like. It's been a while since I've had this apart. Oh no, one washer on each one. Okay, and so that's very similar to the Camaro ones. And then you pull the rotor off. The rotor's just a stock. I'm actually gonna change these rotors out for uh, some slotted and cross-drilled ones. Okay, so then what you need to do this swap is if your car has disc brakes on it currently, your Nova or your Chevelle or your Camaro, you have to get a drum brake spindle. So you have to switch to a drum brake spindle and that's just because this part here is shorter. You can use the disc brake spindle but you'd have to cut this right here. You would have to cut this down because on the disc brake one this sticks out further. Uh, it's cut back on the drum one, you'd have to cut it down. But there would be no point in wasting your disc brake spindle because you could sell that stock disc brake setup like what I did, that's what I did. I sold it and then I bought the drum brake spindle. You know, I got those from like next to nothing and then I put the disc brakes on. So then you switch over to the drum brake or your car already has drum brakes on which is probably why you're putting disc brakes on in the first place. Then you take the hub. So this is the hub that comes on the drum brake. Some of them you can just pull the drum off. Other ones you have to uh, pop, like drill out a rivet or something and get this hub off. So this is just the drum brake hub. It fits right on there, obviously. Uh, you have to put longer wheel studs in because the rotor is thicker than what the drum would have been. So you put a longer wheel stud. These are extra long. You don't need them to be that long. And then this is the bracket that you have to have in order to put bolt that bracket to it. Very similar to the S10 one, but of course also very different because the spindle is different. I actually got this brake set up from a friend who had, I think he got it made uh, these brackets. There's a couple different YouTube channels that sell the brackets and they'll also sell you the hub 
all like within longer wheel studs if you want but you don't really need to and that will allow you to put these brakes on so pretty much the only thing you need to buy is a caliper with the bracket the rotor and these brackets now you could make the brackets yourself too so what you would have to do in that case is put the rotor on with the hub and then take this bracket you know figure out where it needs to go and then use some cardboard make your own bracket and then cut it out of steel after which would be your cheaper cheaper avenue and that's pretty much it now if you want to go to the uh, camaro brakes like i put on the s10 which actually has quite a bit thicker rotor this way it's bigger and thicker but it's diameter it's the same but it's just a thicker rotor so you know it would be probably better for the heat if you really need it plus the caliper i mean this is a dual piston caliper the corvette one i think they look pretty cool i like the look of these calipers but the uh, camaro one is bigger so if you wanted that bigger look to fill the wheel well wheel up better you might want to go with those or they're easier to find than these corvette parts in order to put the camaro rotor on this hub here you have to do kind of like what we did on the s10 you have to turn this down a little bit once again like i had said in the s10 one you could just have it on here and take a flap wheel go around and around and keep test fitting the rotor until it fits you don't have to take it to a machine shop and machine it and then you would have to do the same thing get the rotor on fitted properly uh, put the caliper in that bracket on together stick it on there and then make yourself a cardboard template or purchase one from the various places that sell them online uh, I'll see if I can find, I know a couple different ones. I will see if I can get Mike to put them in the description so that you guys can look that up yourself. The factory brakes were maybe 10 inch or 11 inch or something. These are 12 or 13, I believe. So it's quite a jump up in, uh, in braking and they look cool. And not to mention for older cars like Nova's and Chevelle's and stuff, uh, it's getting hard to find stock type disc brakes. So this way you get newer stuff that's easier to locate uh, for parts. You know, you're on the side of the road, you need brake pads. You can get them pretty much anywhere where you might have a little more hard time finding them for a 74 Nova or 70 Nova or something. Now I think this brake, this brake setup would pretty much work on any GM car like older A bodies, newer Camaros like in the 70s. Uh, for the 70 Camaros, like the 70 up Camaros and the 75 up Novas, you would probably have to do a similar kind of thing to what I did on the S10 because it has that built in caliper bracket. So you'd have to like hack it off. All the older ones use this style, which makes it a lot easier. And, uh, yeah, like I said, that gives you a cheap, cheap brake upgrade. I mean, like I said, these Corvette parts would probably cost more, be a little harder to find. I just kind of got lucky that, uh, friend of mine was uh, putting this together for his car and that ended up going to something different so I ended up getting it off of him and uh, and there it is so uh, I guess we'll move on to something else now just thought I'd let you guys know I figured since the car is already together I can't show you what I did to put it together but I figured I could pull this apart and at least show you guys uh, a cheaper way to do this and uh, get yourself some better brakes I thought I would show you the rear while we're at it too, pulled the wheel off uh, so you guys can see what I did in the back here. So these brakes are 2000 Camaro brakes or anywhere from, I guess, 98 up, 97, 98 up uh, Camaro rear disc brakes. All you really need for this swap is the rotor, the caliper and the bracket. And then there's a bracket on the back. I can probably put the camera in there and show you guys that back bracket too. Um, and it bolts right on. It's pretty much a direct bolt on. The only thing that I ended up having to modify on this was for the emergency brake. So I bought some universal emergency brake cables and I was able to run them. Uh, other than that, once again, gives you a good brake upgrade. I think these I paid for the whole assembly. I think I paid a hundred bucks, 150 bucks from the junkyard and everything was in really good shape. Uh, I am going to change out these rotors because they're pretty worn. I mean, they're okay, but I want to put the slotted and drilled ones on there definitely a way to do a quick brake upgrade and i'm pretty sure these will work on novas also like leaf spring cars uh, this is being a coil spring car uh, the only thing is you have to put them i think the camaro from the factory might put the caliper here but these ones have to go here because of the uh, 
I can show you the suspension. You can see here this uh, bracket that holds the shock right here. Um, the emergency brake would not clear that if I was to try to put them on the opposite way. But as you can see here, this silver part, which also houses the emergency brake assembly, uh, is all in one and bolted right to the rear differential where the bolts with the four bolts uh, once you take your drum brake stuff off. So that's pretty nice. And then there you can see the emergency brake cable running to the bracket. They're not, they're the kind that has a little brake shoes inside and then that just runs off. So yeah, pretty simple overall. Uh, while we're under here, we can take a look at the uh, suspension, the Edelbrock shocks and springs, uh, the new rear end, rebuilt rear end and the new exhaust system. Let's get the light in there somehow so you can see all that stuff. A brand new gas tank also. Fills up the wheel pretty good. These are 18s. Here's on the front. Also fills up the wheel pretty nice. Also 18s on the front. So basically, if you wanted to go to the junkyard and find like a 98 to 2000 Camaro, you could take all the brake stuff and hoses and everything off all four wheels and put them on your A-body or Nova or Camaro or whatever. And uh, other than that little bit of modifying in the front, you'd have to do plus either buying or making that bracket that holds the caliper. You could have a pretty good braking system for pretty cheap. Also, what you would need to do once you did, especially if you do a four wheel disc brake setup, is change your master cylinder. So what I did on here is this is like a 76 Corvette uh, master cylinder because Corvettes have four wheel disc brakes. So I put this on here because it still kind of looks old school like the car, except it's good for four wheel disc brakes. And then you probably can't see it, but down there is an adjustable proportioning valve. Uh, for adjusting instead of having like a factory style one. So you could get a factory four wheel disc brake proportioning valve and plumb that in there or just use an adjustable one that allows you to adjust the brake bias. Uh, and then you'd have a complete uh, braking setup. So to sum it up, that's gonna be a cheap brake upgrade you can do on your car that's gonna cost you a lot less than the aftermarket brake upgrades like from Willwood or Bear. You know, the Willwood and Bear are gonna be a lot fancier looking, but if you're on a budget like you, we usually are, and you don't mind scouring the junkyards a little bit for some parts, you could save yourself a lot of money, get yourself a pretty decent brake setup uh, without really breaking the bank, which is what we all need uh, these days when we're building these cars. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Check us out for the other videos. And like I said, if you haven't seen the S10 big brake upgrade video, check it out and uh, we'll check you later. So this is the 20 seconds at the end of the video. Where the annotation things are oh, yeah. posted. Cool. Well, most viewed. Yeah. And suggested video. Right. Later, guys.